Oh, you guys, I am in a mood. I am drinking a lot of iced tea, and I am ready to redecorate this whole house. If you saw my Target haul on Tuesday, or if you didn't, go check it out. Um, I was talking about how I am like full on in the fall spirit. I am diving in deep and heavy, and all I wanna do is like rearrange the house, get rid of stuff, like a full on fall haul away. Wait, someone had a great, I was like spring cleaning, fall purge, fall, oh my God, I just discovered a huge chin hair. Please hold. Those little suckers, they come out of nowhere and they come out strong. Anyways, what I was saying is basically I'm in the mood to kind of rearrange the house. I'm trying not to buy more stuff, but really like get rid of stuff or move stuff around or like attend to jobs that I've been putting off in my house for so long, like getting these fixed. I finally had a handyman come out and get these doors fixed. They were not working before and you literally had to like pick them up to move them. So dangerous, so dangerous. And I put it off for like a full year. I lived in misery for a full year. All it took was a couple hours and very little. He charged me very little. Just as you were reminder, sometimes you just gotta rip the band-aid and get it done. So today, I feel like we're always in my bathroom because I'm constantly rearranging my bathroom. Um, but another thing I need to address is, oh God, how rude of me, pardon the dust. Um, I need to address what's going on in here. Are you ready to see what's going on in here? Let me show you what's going on in here. Come with me in here. Hi, we're over here. I'm embarrassed to show you what's happening, but I also feel like I need to address the problem. And so by showing you, it's holding me accountable and I gotta just do it. So here we are. I'm disgusting. This has been like this for a good few years and I just don't put anything down there. Except for my dental floss, apparently, which was like a late night decision, I'm thinking. So I'm just not really utilizing this very well, generally speaking, and I'm always totally grossed out when I open it. I don't know if this is a moisture issue or what, but like actually a long time ago when I was just renting this place, so that was a long time ago, um, I had the owner like put in a new one because this was happening, so this is like an ongoing problem uh, that I have just been avoiding. So I thought perhaps I would line this, or at least line the bottom, so it covers up the grossness for the moment until I have it in me to change these out. There are ones that I really want from West Elm. They're like rounded and they look vintage and they're so beautiful, but like they're so expensive and I just feel like let's just line this sucker for now and deal with it later. I did a kitchen makeover not that long ago and I wallpapered the whole kitchen myself with this amazing vinyl like peel and stick from Get Kooky. I will leave her information below because she's brilliant and her patterns are awesome and her product is wonderful. That stuff in the kitchen has been holding up and then some. The water splashes all over it and it's still like just as stuck on and just like as perfect so I can't um, endorse this product enough if you are looking for a vinyl peel and stick. She's also just badass. She's like, you know, runs the business by herself and she's so lovely to interact with. Anyways, I had leftover of this paper, which really is so my vibe and goes really nice with the pink. I didn't want to like wallpaper the bathroom. I mean, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, but I figured I had leftover. So I'm thinking I can just backsplash this buddy and then pull it through, oh, right? Cause I can't pull it up here if you can see, like in theory, I would just backsplash it here, but I need to cover this. I didn't really think this one through. Do I do a strip here? Do I do the whole, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna fake it until we make it work, kind of. I shoot for mediocrity here on my home decor um, channel. <laughs> um, and I never read directions and um, I just kind of figure it out as I go. That's who I am, don't come at me. When I would do like TikTok trends, I like did a few of them and trying TikTok products and people were so mad at me because I always did it wrong and I like just didn't bother to read the direct directions, but that's who I am, so. Um, anyways, we have two of these cabinets and we have one of these strips so what I think I'm gonna do is just cut it directly in half. 
All right. Um, and then go from there. I could measure. I could, but I won't. But I do sing, think that this will be good because it leaves us a little bit on top and bottom and then side to side. Here goes nothing, my friends. Thanks for going on this journey with me. I cleaned out the cabinets underneath my sinks, which was a real shit show down there. Um, so that felt really good. I'm telling you, this is your inspiration to clean out stuff or do things that you've been like putting off forever. Not laundry, that's for Wednesdays. <laughs> this is like house, I don't know, house things. Like there's a rug in our living room underneath our couch and our um, like, table coffee table and a chair and like the whole thing and then somehow the rug got all like you know like i don't know someone probably picked up a chair and then it like got stuck under there so the rug's all like bumpy and we just need to so badly take all the furniture off and move the couch so that we can like flatten and straighten the rug and maybe even turn it because it's getting dirty on like one exposed side but the thought of doing that, it wouldn't take us that long, but the thought of actually doing that is horrendous. Anyone? Anyone? You guys know what I'm talking about? First step done. Next step, clearing this out. I have all these like really nice beauty products or um, skincare products, and they're just living in filth. I'm disgusting. Just disgusting. I don't know the last time this was cleaned either, so we will take the opportunity to clean this for sure. I won't make you watch that. Unless you want to. I feel like some people are into that kind of stuff. We were playing a video game the other day, which was a power washing game. That was kind of fun. Also, I tried a new game on Xbox. I'm not a gamer, but Jeff was like, hey, they have like a home design game on there. And so I, ew. This is what my face products have been on. I'm disgusting. I'm horrified for myself. Um, anyways, Jack was like, hey, you should play this game. I think you'd really like it. Like, it's like a house flipping game. And so I started to play it. And like, the bulk of the game is cleaning someone else's house. Like, cleaning up after their, their disgusting asses. And I was like, I don't, I don't like this at all. All right, speaking of, I think I should probably clean this out. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, when I tell you that was disgusting, that was disgusting. Like, the amount of buildup in here, bleh. Anyways, do you guys think that I should sand this? I can't tell, I mean, it's obviously not smooth, but that paper is thick enough that it probably doesn't matter, but I happen to have sanding paper, so shall we? Um, warning, this might not be pleasant on the ears. Okay, that just like made it worse. Just spreading a little rust dust everywhere. Great, 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 great. All right, the moment has come. I want you to experience this. I'll probably time lapse it, um, but let's just get moving and see how we do. Look at my camera skills. Look at my fucking camera skills. So you usually start from the top down, um, but I'm tempted to start from the bottom and go up with this thing, because I just want to make sure I, I don't like run out of paper for this. But in looking, it's definitely not going to be able to wrap on both sides. So I think I just have to either start here and wrap down. Yeah, that's what I should do, right? I'm going to do that. Well, and then just cut off this edge. I guess so. OK, Let's just see what happens. Famous last words. The good thing about this paper is it's um, really easy to remove. So if you mess it up, you can kind of like futz with it. So it's pretty dummy proof. Trust, trust me. Smooth like butter. It's the only line I know from that song, but it gets stuck in my head. Definitely helpful to have one of these. The good news about this is anything is gonna be better than what I had going on. So like, you really can't mess this up. Okay, I'll admit there's some like bubbles in it and some creases, which this is supposed to help with. But also I think I just need to start doing some cuts uh, to really make sure that like, uh, or to rather to like give it some space to breathe. Like over here, it's a little like crunched. So I use this X-Acto knife. I find a lot of joy in this part. I don't know what that says about me, but I do. And I start the cutting process. It won't be fun to watch, but stay tuned. All right, so I rounded out the top a little bit. Let me show you. Uh, it's not perfectly straight, 
but it looks pretty good. Pro tip for people who are like me and uh, aren't good at this stuff but really still want to try it, always keep your scraps because if there is a chunk missing or something, you can easily patch it through. And with patterns this strong, like you can't even really tell when you, um, you know, patch them up. So keep your scraps. We are to the bottom now and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to make this work because it's not a square and it's because it's rounded. It's a little bit more difficult to get this to lay flat. So I'm trying to just sort of like set it up for success, but then we've got this extra stuff. So I think I need to trim here and then fold over, trim and fold. Or do I cut straight across and then lay this? Decision. I'm tempted to cut across. Is that a bad idea? I think I'm gonna cut. I'm cutting. The stress, the stress. But I do think I made the right move. Again, rust everywhere, rust everywhere. The time has come, the final lay-in. Final lay-in, oh. oh, that works pretty good. Not a perfect match, but once the things are in, It'll do. It'll do big. The major challenge now, once I finish this, is to get myself to do it on the other side. <laughs> Will I do it? Uh, I don't know, maybe in a couple of years. Okay, I'm sweating. I turned off the air conditioning <laughs> because I didn't want it for the sound purposes, but I'm like actually dying. But not bad. I mean, listen, it's not perfect. It's not perfectly straight. I could spend hours just like going over it and over and over again. But let's clean these off and then put the stuff in and take a look at what we're working with and how much better this is. And now I'm like inspired. I want to put like old school like locker pictures, you know what I mean? Like hang up pictures of family and friends inside. Like I'm into it. Okay, I'll be right back. If I had more paper, I would probably do the sides and do these, but for the moment, y'all, not bad for the moment. Ta-da, fill her up. Oh, I can finally use this bottom. Does anyone have any suggestions for, um, paint to cover this up. I like don't think you can use regular paint, but for the moment, like I said, get scrappy. I'm using the white pieces from this to cover it up. It's not the classiest thing to do, but I mean, it's better than nothing. We're improvising. Is this how you DIY? Question mark. Right, I'm gonna clean up and then do the final reveal, even though this is the final reveal, but I wanna do one in slow motion, okay? All right, the time is now. The final reveal, but like the sexy version. Ooh, it's so sexy. You saw it before, but now it looks so much better. Look at my products, ooh yeah. I mean, not bad, you know what I mean? Took me way too long to do that. Just call me a DIY genius. Uh, thank you for going on this journey with me today. So now the real question is whether or not I'm gonna do that in here. Luckily this bottom for some reason isn't messed up so I could just do backsplash, which would be a whole lot easier. I think I will do that. Um, and then I have a few more projects I wanna get underway. So if you're interested in watching the transformation, this is like my, obviously my bedroom and my closet. Um, I thought it would be fun since no one really sees this except for me um, when I'm, look at that little pooch, when I'm like looking out, you know, into the room from the bathroom. I thought it would be kind of fun to put like a bunch of like pictures here. I was thinking like old time pictures, like I have these great pictures of my grandma and I thought it would be just like a nice, I don't know, like a way to look at them and memorialize them and maybe like all the women in my family or just things that make me happy. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Let's go say hi to the pooch while we're at it. Hi, sweet girl. What do you think? What do you think? Do you want to see my cabinet? Nah, he doesn't want food. I love you and so does the internet. And next week, we have our special announcement. We're dropping your merchandise. We're dropping your merchandise, Queenie. Stay tuned for that, guys. I also like need to deal with this situation here. I either need to get another plant. I want to do some levels. Like I'm not really sure. So I got some little home renos to be done. I also have a buttload of stuff to put on Poshmark. 
all of this stuff I need to take pictures of. You know, I'm just checking one thing off the list at a time. But this was definitely helpful, and I'm feeling crafty and inspired to keep going. I feel like some of you were like, um, that was so simple. I forgot what it was. Oh, I did a, like, um a fixing of the toilet video a while back and some people were like that's the easiest thing ever meanwhile I'm like struggling to get it done check it out ironically some of the other pieces of the toilet broke because it was just like old so I did have to have a plumber out to fix it hopefully I won't have to have anyone out to fix uh, this for a while at least. <laughs> um, all right, I guess that's it. Um, like I said, I do have a Poshmark. Did I mention Poshmark? Uh, the link is below. I'm gonna hopefully list that some more stuff today, but definitely check that out. And um, also, there's merchandise coming. The drop's happening next week. If I get everything in order, the merch is over there. We gotta take some pictures. I'm really, really excited about it. So, yay. All right, that's it. Shining off, DIY queen, from one faker to another. Uh, let me know what project uh, you've been faking or need to fake, have been putting off faking to make it. You know what I'm saying, right? I'm losing my mind. She does one project and she's exhausted. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. I did do the other cabinet and it went so much faster. I had such a better plan. So silly, but here she is with all my hair products. Way better without the bottom, but, you know, she did it. She done did it.